Okay guys, uh, I'm gonna show you a guard pass option here. Let's go into the guard, open guard guys. We're sitting here, we're, we're looking to pass the guard. The first thing I need to do is I need to make sure I get a good base underneath me and I need to make sure I put myself in a position to where I'm balanced and my partner's guard is crushed and killed and, and unable to do anything to me. So when we're coming in, a lot of times we'll be looking for De La Hiva guard. So the first thing you want to do as you're approaching a guard, an open guard like this, we have to make sure we break all this down. So the first thing is going to be this C clamp on both hands. I'm going to push this leg down, straight down, it kills that hook. And then I'm going to turn my knee to the outside to make it tough for him to put that hook back. This foot, I need to push it down, but it's stuck on my hip because he's got pressure on it. So I'm gonna back step to push it down and then I'm gonna step over. When I get here, guys, I'm gonna get on the insides of my feet and I'm pinching my knees on this leg and I'm getting nice and low with my posture. This foot is up, let's turn. It's up near the hip line because look, I need this to happen. Whenever I put my squat down, it's gonna put pressure on his hip here and on his hamstring. And now I'm fully controlling his hips, guys. Right when I get here, I'm gonna make sure I grab the collar with a thumb in grip. I'm gonna shelf his, uh, this grip onto my thigh here. When I do that, it makes it really tough for him to separate my elbow from my body. It pulls his back off the mat and puts a lot of pressure on him. And now this hand is gonna grab the outside of the knee. And once I get here, this is what we call headquarters. And now I can start to look for a pass. The first pass we'll do is just a knee cut, okay? This is how I like to start it off most of the time. It's my favorite pass. I'm gonna start walking sideways to cut, or to turn his hips over. And then I'm gonna drive this knee through and then shuffle to here. I'm gonna pin this leg down. What I need to make sure I do is to not let him get the underhook. So my initial grip here, uh, back out. I wanna keep my elbow in. So this grip is gonna come into almost like I'm gonna do like a curl here. I'm pulling his back up and I'm driving my elbow into his body here. This is, allows me to put a lot of pressure. And while I do that, I'm gonna look for this sleeve. I'm gonna look to really drive this in, even look for the tricep here. And now guys, watch, I'm gonna put my body weight right here on my elbow. I'm pulling up on his other elbow to pin his shoulders flat. And if he's still holding my foot, I kinda lock my foot into him. Right here, if he's holding that, I need to slice my knees towards that direction. And now my foot starts to peel out here. Once I get here, I put all my weight here still. I'm on, the, on his torso with my elbow, and I'm pulling up, and I can put the pressure here. And then, guys, I want to make sure I get an underhook here. So I'm going to drop down low and get this underhook. That's one way. But the same pass, guys, if I was doing the nogi, coming in, I'm going to kill this hook straight down. If this is in front, I step back, step over. I'm pinching my knees in on the insides of my feet. This is in the right spot. I'm putting pressure on his hip. Boom, and I'm here. Whenever I go to do this, another grip I can do, and it works nogi too. This is actually more common for me to do this one. When I get here, I want to make sure I take my collar grip and shoot it under from the very beginning. I'm going to go low. I'm going to underhook, get ear to ear with my partner, and I post out my hand here. I got a nice wide base now. My knee and my head kind of make like a diamond shape with my feet and hand. And now it's a really good base. It's really tough for him to roll me over here. If he tries to explode, I just relax. I pull up on this elbow, I try to keep him flat, but I just wait till he relaxes and stops moving. As Soon as he stops moving, I know he's starting to get tired or frustrated. And then I slice through and I put all my weight right here. My hips go on the ground, guys, the pressure won't be there. So you're gonna be pulling up here. This hand is pulling up towards the ceiling, but I'm not gonna overcommit and lay backwards. It's just enough to put the pressure on and I stay right here, right on this diaphragm. So that's one of the most powerful passes there is. I'll do it really fast. And if you need to see it again, man, rewind the video. Boom, I push this down, step back, step over. I'm pinching my knees in. Guys, let's turn this real fast. Look at the insides of my feet. Okay, I'm like this, nice and low. I'm not bending over at the waist. I'm right here sitting on this foot. Okay, I'm gonna cut it over. Let's turn this way a little bit. I'm gonna cut it, dig this underhook, head ear to ear, and I'm gonna pull up right here, guys. Pull up hard, clamp this down. Got your base out, I'm ready to move. My hands and feet are ready to move. He tries to roll me. Okay, I just try to 
maintain the position. Look, I keep that hook on the leg. As soon as he stops, I'm through. And now I put the pressure on and make him hate everything, make him want to quit right here. And then man, I start to, I'm in my pinning position, my pinning system now, and then I start that system. Boom. Go try it.